I'm at Middlesex Aerospace today on the shop floor with Laurie Folds, who's the managing director. Uh, about 18 months ago, this man machine from Matsura was installed. I'm about to find out why. Laurie, uh, exciting times for the company, isn't it? Indeed it is, yeah. First investment in Matsura Indeed. as well. Indeed, that's absolutely right, and we're delighted with it. What drove it? What was the reason? Well, Matsura have had a long history in developing these multi-pallet machines um, with very high levels of uptime, and we had a range of components that we wanted to move onto unmanned running. Now, ironically enough, some of these components were ones that we traditionally made on lathes, um, but of course a lathe, by and large, unless you've got some complex automation system, has to be manned. But of course, a machine like this could be cutting metal at 2 o'clock in the morning when there's nobody here, which is a great advantage. And is it doing that? I mean, I know it's cutting now, but are you, are you getting... Because you've got a, a, a slightly different take on the, uh, the unmanned running. You yes. talk about it in hours, don't That's you? That's right, because I think, I think the concept of um, being able to say that God gave us 168 hours in the week, and we want to run 90% of those hours. Now, a five-year-old child can understand that concept. When you move in things like OEE and efficiency percentages and all the rest of it, I've had to speak to even my, some of my best guys and their eyes just close over, they just don't really get it. Uh, is it all aluminium you're cutting on here? Or do on you... here, of course, we specialise in a whole variety of materials, titanium, you know, high hard steels and all the rest of it for our other range of products. But yes, this machine is particularly concentrated on, on aluminium. Now, one of the areas you mentioned is about the briquetting. There's, there's still ongoing developments, isn't there, with this solution here as an unmanned cell. What are you adding to it? Well, yes, I think what we found is that the, the briquette machine, uh, which we're just about to order, uh, enables us to, to be able to, to run the machine completely unmanned rather than have people come back to empty the, effectively just to empty the swarf bins. It also is much more efficient at returning coolants to, 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 the, to the coolant system, uh, so we don't have to actually continually top it up. So that's really that's a real benefit as well as. So that's going to help you with this unmanned running. Now, do you put Confirm. a big variety of parts on here? No, this component at the moment we have fairly high volumes of about three or four different part numbers, um, which we can which we can put on there. But we, we, we'll expand that as the volumes of the programs increase. So you're not worried about whether a part is just a 20 off, a hundred off, or 200 off with this machine. You wouldn't be worried, would no, you? No, that's right. It can just keep going. That's right, because we've got to, that, that we keep the machine permanently set because there's there's ample numbers of tuning to be able to do that. And of course, you write the programs with standard tooling in mind. So yes. You can have a very easy, quick setup. So if you have repeat, repeat parts that are relatively low volume, you can do that with min minimal setup. And how reliable is it? Are you 18 months in, Mr. B? Uh, yeah, it's great. No, it's a fantastic machine. Um, no significant problems at all. It's been running pretty much all the time. Um, do you put that down to the, the heritage behind? I mean, the, the, this type of technology with Matsura isn't new, is it? It's no, it's not. It's not, but they be, that Matsura have made a real specialty of this part of the, these sorts of machines, and quite frankly, they really are at the cutting edge. And you're a big, you're a big company. I mean, you know, you've got a lot of plant, a lot of employees, and a yep. lot of product going through. Yeah, we've do got you... 50,000 square feet here, and yeah, and a whole variety of machine tools. But, but do you think this machine should be dedicated to companies like yours, or if you were a smaller company, would you still? see an advantage in, in the technology that this offers? I think the, the, the technology has advantages across the board, whether you're a small company or a large one.